Hello, welcome to Jade Kind Gaming. My name is Adam, here with another Dwarven Forge unboxing. Uh, today, I have some pieces from the castle line, uh, which I've gotten very little from so far. And I think this is the first real castle-y bits that I'm getting. This is the straight crenellations uh, assortment, I guess. Um, there's a few pieces that I have, at least to my mind, no way presently to use. I'm, I might be able to come up with something. Um, but it has enough pieces that let me do things a little more castly than I have. Because currently, like, I have stone buildings, and I can have stone buildings with a slate roof, or, like, if I want, like, a tower, I just put a floor with a trapdoor entrance on the top, and um, it's just, you know, don't fall. Ah! <laughs> You know, it's like, uh, yeah, no. So this, this is exciting. This here is uh, some new, new options to put on top of the buildings. Oh wow! And you can tell how old it is by, by the thank you. It's still the old black and white one. Oh, this is so much stuff. Oh, where do I even begin? Um, what do we got? I don't. Yeah, let's pull out... There are four of this piece. This is a good one to begin with. If I can find them. There we go. So, why is this a good one to begin with? There are four of these. And I, I can do nothing with it. Of course, this is still before magnets, so don't be expecting any of those. Um, oh, my stone buildings. For my fort, no, I wonder. Yeah, so it would go over if you tried to, you know, these are bigger than that, but... Basically, they have the actual two inch, you know, this direction, but the width of them with the actual crenellations goes over a bit. So, now this and um, the lines in there are divided, but it's basically got an inch each step along the way. And if you have the castle uh, walls, of course. Those are like the two inch width, and this will sit on top of them. Um, and there are even advanced builder stone pieces that I don't have that are that two inch width. I just don't have them. But this basically would be how you'd just make a narrow little wall. Um, you know, your mini can hide behind and peek out and shoot arrows or spells or whatever. Um, one side just kind of neutral and the other side has these little um, greenery bits little patches of green on top but yeah so that's that's never but yeah these are the ones I don't really have much to do with at this point it's nothing like it's intended to be used all right now oh that's that's different than I expected uh, let's try and find <laughs> Again, this is all stuff that's very much new to me. I get four of these. Yeah. So here are four corners. Of course, they are also going to go over, you know, beyond the the two by two by just a little bit. And they have little holes in the corner there. Um, greenery on there. And this put together 
on the tower. Make it a little shorter to make it easy, but now all of a sudden I have a tower with a proper defensible roof. And you can get a mini up there, although none of them have the trap door to show how the mini got up there. But yeah, that's an option. Also, to note, on the corner of each of these, that is a pull accessory hole for you to decorate it, whether with a flag or some sort of weapon or skull or whatever you got. You can decorate the corners there. Now, let's pull out guess, these four. Yeah. These are a little more something that I was perhaps expecting. As they just have normal bottom here. You know, you can use that to. Essentially, you can extend this now by four inches. So, if say, on my big wide building, I want to replace the roof with the defensible roof and just throw a couple stilts in here to hold things up. Corners on the corners. Put these in the middle. And now it's big defensible roof. Neat. But uh, yeah, it's got a neat little look to it. What's this big? I mean, that's, yeah, it's a nice big opening for someone to, to shoot out of. But then it has these little, what's up with those at the top? Well, that. My friends, that's where these come in. And there are four, because there are four of these. And these are little cauldrons. I say little cauldrons. Rather large cauldrons. Which have a little spout one direction, so you would put on top of the wall and pour whatever, boiling oil or whatever you want down on your foe. I, I love even the detail because it has this handle right here at the bottom because you would have something where you would you'd boil it and you have to then just lift up on uh, the handle from the bottom so that it drops down below. <laughs> they do go flying. Um, but yeah, so that's that's your defense tactic there on a castle. But yeah, so we got that. That's neat. Now we get to these pieces that are not at all how I expect, because these are these pieces right here. There's two of two different ones. I don't know if that's the opposite. Here's the matching. So I don't know, I, I guess are these battlements and the other ones are crenellations? I'm not sure. Um, but here's two matching of this. And I guess I'll just take out the other two. And these two match. And they are the exact opposite of each other in that you know, they're a left and right as far as where this part is. So in the image we got, none of this stuff on the bottom is, is shown. And like, like I feel like it should be because that's, that's relevant. Um, uh, nothing against what this is. This is cool, um, but it's just a lot more complex than I understood. I'm guessing it'll still work. So, I have my building here. I'm guessing that this, which would of course would clamp onto the, the wall of a castle, I'm guessing will also, it's a little loose on here. You may still want a stilt in here. Set things on. But yeah, so you could still do the same thing and just now it's gonna stick out. So. Yeah, so basically this is a section where instead of or to, in addition to, because you can have it where it sticks out 
here for a bit. Like it's normal. Your your space and partial space there to space full space and just like a little portion over there so basically it makes it wider it makes it where it sticks out you know this much further away from the wall and you can have it where it's normal until it gets to it and it juts out there um, and of course this section between these two is another spot for one of those now you can't fill all of them with it because we only got four of these but it should be fine um, we have arrow slits here you also have the little holes here where you pour stuff out which I mean that's silly but yeah you can see through there <laughs> um, yes yeah, so you have two pairs of these they latch on to the walls themselves they're a little wide for city walls because they're designed for castle walls but they fit over city walls so it still works if you're using it to make your city pieces more castle-like, which is my intention here at this point, and also to prepare to eventually maybe get castles, maybe. Um, but yeah, you get um, of these paired left and right parts, you get two of, and you know you can expand them like that. So yeah, that's these are like I I knew that these went out and made it where it stuck out a bit. I did not know it had all this architecture on the bottom of it. Oh, that rolled away. But fortunately, there's two of each, so I can just hold this one like it never fell. Um, anyways, but yeah, so just a few battlements, a few battlements and crenellations. The actual, like, walkways that are enclosed on both sides like they don't necessarily work with my current collection but the other things do to let me literally this tower right here is one of the main reasons i got it is because i had this tower that i built for one of my sessions because i needed a tower and i'm like it looks kind of lame but literally i just for the ability to swap out that roof and put this top seemed well worth the investment um i also kind of like the idea maybe have a split level where i have a door that kind of opens out onto an area maybe how do i want to do this no one, two, and then I put corners here. Now, of course, I can't fully encase the top part with what I currently have because I don't, I only have four corners. Oh, there's the air course. But I can put these corners on here and make it where it just opens up here. And maybe I put a ladder here or something like, oh, that's how you get up to the top part. And have kind of this split level looking keep kind of thing. But yeah, just a few different options um, for how to be able to build cool tower, you know, castle-y looking buildings with the city builder pieces that I already have. Expanding the variety of construction that is available to me. And admittedly making it where I have a little more preparation for down the line whenever I do finally decide to get into the actual castles build because those are impressive um, <laughs> and I've needed a lot of storage space for the dorm forge I already have man the amount I'll need when I when I get into castles <laughs> but uh, but little pieces like this allow for little mini castle like you know guard towers keeps that kind of thing just to make a structure feel more defensible. Um, of course, link down below to Woven Forge's website if you want to check it out for yourself. Uh, if you have any of the little pieces from castles that work really well to add to existing other builds, let me know what your thoughts on on some good options uh, other than this set to do that. Um, so comment that below. Thank you for watching. Bye.